Hey guys, so today I will be creating this look and I found a picture on my explore page. I will show you the photo right after this clip, but yeah, I really loved how her makeup looked and I wanted to recreate it, so that's what we're going to do today, so just keep on watching. Okay, so I mixed my NARS, uh, let me see, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and I mixed it with the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow in the shade 205 Natural Beige, and this was in the shade Light 4. Next up, I already added um, the CoverGirl True Blend Under Eye Concealer, and I'm just going to add a little bit more underneath my eyes. If you watch my videos, you already know what the next step is. I'm going to bake with my Cody Airspun powder. Next up, I'm going to take my Aquasurance Compact Foundation by JCAT Beauty in the shade Ivory. And this is, um, you know, a powder foundation. So there's going to be way more coverage, which is what we want because this is a full, full on beat. Since this is a very bronzed look, I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up my whole entire face with this. Okay, so my face looks crazy, but I'm just going to bake and then that's going to make it look a little more normal. And I'm trying to make my nose as slim as possible because her nose is so snatched. I don't know if it's the makeup or a nose job or her real nose, but her nose looks amazing. So yeah, I'm just going to bake underneath my contour. Now I'm just wiping off my bake. Oh my god, I just realized this was in the background the whole entire video. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm going to change into once my makeup's done, but whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Too Faced Turn Up the Light and just take the Soft Focus Powder and focus that on the high points and whatever, wherever I want to glow basically but like more of a natural glow. I'm gonna put that there. See, the sun's going down, that's why I didn't use the natural light. I have my ring light, but I'm gonna mix these two blushes. I have the Milani blush in Rose de Oro, I think it's. And then I have Fanciful by Tarte, and I'm just gonna mix them together um, because she does have a pretty strong blush on. And I'm going to keep it more towards the apples of my cheeks. It looks kind of harsh on camera, but I'm going to blend it out. Putting some on my nose. And then I'm going to take just a little fluffy brush and just dab that in so it's not as harsh. Now I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill highlighter. I know I should be using other highlighters, but I really do love this highlight. And then I'm going to top it with the Tarte Exposed highlight because she has kind of like a chunky glitter going on, um, but she also has like a inner glow. So this is uh, the Jaclyn one is going to give us the inner glow. And then the Tarte one is going to give us that very... Te textured sounds bad, but I don't know what other word to use. So 
I think I think you'll get the gist of it once you guys see the picture and see what I'm talking about. I'll take it with my finger, just a little bit. Put it on my nose, blend it out with another finger, and just repeat. I'm just going to spray my face one more time, and this is running out. So now I'm just going to do my brows with my Anastasia Brow Duo in the shade Taupe. Now we're doing the eyes, and I'm a little bit closer to the camera now that the sun has set. I can move up. But we are going to be using the Blue Blood palette, and I'm super excited. I have used this on my channel before. I think it was my second video and I was just testing it, but today I'm gonna create a blue look with it. So the eye shape is very cat eye and brought up. So I think I'm gonna be using this brush a lot. Um, this is the JH38. And I feel like it's gonna take a little bit longer because it's more precise and it's usually not the shape that I do. So I'm gonna go in the sh with the shade, I'm cold. And I'm just going to put that all in. I didn't even prime my eyelids. Okay, rewind a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and take that off somehow and prime my eyelids. I'm using the P. Louise Eye Base in the shade 0 0.5, or yeah, 0 0.5. Now that I have my eyes primed, I'm gonna go in with the JH32 and go into the shade I'm Cold and just put that in my crease, but flick it out. And I have to be really, really precise with this. So take your time. I forgot to mention, um, start where the end of your eyelashes are and flick it up as well so it creates a cat eye effect. Okay, next up I'm going in with the shade Blue Blood right here and I'm going to take my JH38 and really focus that in my crease and blend it up just the slightest. She loves watching every time I do a makeup tutorial. She's just chilling in the background. a little harsh so I'm just going to take that fluffy brush again and still keep it compact but just blend it out a little bit and I feel like I look a little crazy right now but I'm just telling myself to trust the process and hopefully by the end this all looks somewhat put together now I'm going to mix I'm cold and blue blood and just put that underneath my eyes Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lids and then we're going to darken the outer corner a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to go into the shade Ocean Ice and I think I'm going to start out with my fingertips just because that's what blends better, I guess, with um, metallics or whatever that shade is, glitters, whatever you want to call it. And then to get into the inner corner and stuff, I'm going to use a brush. Now I'm going to go in with my JH41 and just go into the inner corner and I'm going to just tap it. I'm not going to swipe just yet. I'm just going to take the JH34 and just blend it out in the slightest because 
I'm going to add a darker shade. Now I'm going to go into the shade Undertaker and I think I'm going to mix it with Cremated, I think. I'm not really sure. I'll let you know, guys know what I do. Okay, so I just ended up taking Undertaker, I'll show you, and I just took it on my JH38 and I packed it in there, then I blended it out into that cat eye shape, and then I blended it out with my JH34, and then to blow it all out, I used the JH32. She does have shimmer under her eyes, so I'm gonna take Ocean Ice, which is the shade that I use on my lid, and I'm just going to line underneath my eyes very carefully since it's glitter. I'm just gonna lightly blend it out with the shade I'm cold just so it's not too harsh now to highlight uh, what am I gonna take I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill highlighter in my inner corner because she has more of like a gold and I want it to tie in with the face so I'm just going to highlight my inner corner, under my brows, okay so we're done with the eyeshadow, now I'm going to take the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, just lightly coat my lashes so then I can add my Ardell Wispies, and I'll be right back. While I'm applying glue and waiting for my lashes to dry up a little bit, I was just thinking, do you guys want a, um, like an in-depth brow routine and how I tint my eyebrows? I can make that into one video. Just let me know. I could do that for you guys because I always speed through my brows and stuff like that. I did, I've shown you guys my favorite products and stuff like that, but not really like super in-depth and when I'm working and I go to school I usually tint my eyebrows which makes my makeup process go a lot a lot quicker so yeah just let me know in the comments the lashes are applied and I'm so happy with how this is looking so now I'm just gonna add bottom mascara if I could find it while the top is drying and then once the top is dry I'm just gonna add mascara to the top the exact shades I think that she has so we're gonna have to use probably a good amount of lip products but right now I'm gonna take the LA Colors lip pencil in the shade hazelnut and just line my lips now that they're lined I'm just gonna fill in the sides a little bit Now I'm going to go in with the NARS lip pencil thing. I'm not really sure what shade this is in, but this is the color. I'm just going to put that on my lips. Honestly, my shade matching isn't that bad, I feel like. She has some sort of peachy gloss on, so I'm going to take this Chanel lip gloss in the shade Rouge Cocoa Gloss, number 96. 
You don't need this Chanel one, but I got it as a gift, so I'm just gonna use it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm just putting it in the center and letting it kind of blend into the sides, if you know what I mean. I'm so obsessed with this look. Oh my god. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I just finished my hair. I did a little bit of a slick back bun. And I switched my outfit. And yeah, I feel like I'm ready to go out even though we're in quarantine. So I really can't. But yeah, I think I'm going to try and recreate this look with more neutral tones. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Because I really like the cat eye... Um, eyeshadow shape I really never do it like that um I usually round it out a little bit um so yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you hit the bell and I'll see you next time bye